Hey gypsies, welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday and I've got three bags from the Dollar Tree. And I have to say, I feel like they're good bags. I've got wish list items in here for one. That's always a good thing. And then I've got three bags in the back for lunchtime tomorrow at work to do another haul. So, you know, you got today and tomorrow. And then, well, we got Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, I'm sure I'll have to go to another Dollar Tree somewhere, you know, just because. Um, I took Friday off, so I'll have a four-day weekend. I'm so excited about like that whole four days because Friday I'm planning on going a few towns over to those three Dollar Trees and possibly a Goodwill. I'm not 100% sure about that. And then Saturday is the big block sale that is like a yearly thing and we're all planning on going to that. So that should be a good time. And then Sunday, me and Fee is going to finish our wreaths and do some type of meal. Um, I think we're looking at type some type of soup or stew or something like that. So all those dates are going to be super fun. So yeah, I'm excited. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. Um, let me get a sip of coffee. My throat feels a little dry. Getting much better guys. So I guess the vinegar, apple cider vinegar can cure anything. I'm sure of it. It might not taste the best, but that's some good stuff. Okay, let me just start with this bag here. Not sure what all's in this one. I know that one's a good one for sure. Okay, so this is the first Halloween stickers that I have seen. And there are several people around the stickers, and these were kind of laying over to the side, so I got them. But I did think I saw another sheet of Halloween stickers. If you know, let me know. These are so cute. I'm telling you, these bad boys are adorable. This one here, look at that. I love that. They are just the cutest. And this one, look, look at her. How adorable. Wow, I'm just loving these. So I had to grab them, had to. And then I, this is not in the Halloween section, but this is from the Cooking Concepts Cake Decoration Kit. I know me and my daughter are wanting to make some fall and probably Christmas cupcakes or something like that, or cookies or some, you know, just something along those lines. Neither one of us is very good at you know, de decorating with something like this, but it's better than trying to use a baggie and cut the corner out of. It's just much easier, I guess. So <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed this and I'll take it over to her house. So we are definitely planning on doing some desserts with that. And then I needed another Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. So I just grabbed one. I know that the Dollar Tree has two packs, I think. Um, of just the Dollar Tree kind, Assured, or I don't know what kind, actually. But I, I could not find those, and they did have these, so I'm like, what the heck. This thing will last me six months anyway, so it's okay. And then I grabbed these little socks for little Ricky. I could not remember if I got them already. I try to keep my eyes out for cute little boy socks, the baby socks. And I just loved the little T-Rex on that one, and then the other one. They're just so cute. I got to see that little squirt yesterday. He's so sweet. No, day before. He's the sweetest. He is. Um, I grabbed this for Miss Leslie. Um, I still haven't got her stuff to her. So I'm still collecting. So I saw these and I'm like, you know, if kids, and kids are planning on going back to school, I guess. This would be so cute because it's desk swag. Desk swag is what it's called. And it's just there's two pieces and this one says super helper and this one says keep it up so i figure just a little recognition type thing and something that the kids can kind of be like i want that on my desk and you know something to work toward maybe getting the super helper on their desk for the day super helper of the day and you can put it on their desk i don't know that's just that was just the thoughts of going through my crazy mind but i just thought they were so cute and maybe the most improved of the day i don't know is this just an idea. I just thought that was cute. And then I ran across these. These were the only ones that they had. It's the Real Techniques. These were my favorite anyway. So I got three more of these simply because 
Um, I want to give one to my daughter and I want to have a spare and then I have an extra one if I do another give a beauty giveaway. So I'm just going to put these back and then, yeah, so I want to have a spare because these are really, really cool. It's like they're easy to hold and they're sponge underneath and I really like them. So I thought that this was a killer deal, a killer deal. Love it. Love it. And then, okay. It's kind of funny that I'm collecting crafting items now. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Um, but I got these. It's just glitter ribbon, and it's the Halloween colors. And I'm like, well, we might want to use these on our Halloween wreaths. I'm not sure. Or we may make some other Halloween craft. I feel like that video uh, got so much interaction, and you guys really liked seeing us attempt to make our wreaths and stuff so we are definitely wanting to do more crafting we would love to be able to go live and talk to you guys while we're doing it and just answer questions and stuff like that but we are going to need someone there that can read us the comments while we're crafting i don't know it's just an idea that we had that we really would like to do so in the future guys for sure but anyway i just got these gorgeous colors they're so sparkly Ooh, I love them. So I'm sure we'll put those to good use somewhere. And then, okay, let me just say, this is my wish list. Okay, I wanted one of every single one they had. It is the Tony, or not Tony, Ioni Lashes, okay, 3D Faux Mink Lashes. This one's in the name Angela. This was the only pack they had. They had a huge stand, and on that stand was this pack. Like, there were so many empty pegs. I'm like, no, because I have been looking for these. Every time I go in, I look. I just can't imagine how fast they sold out of these things right here. So, on my um, adventures out on Friday, I'm going to be going to those other Dollar Trees, and I'm really having fingers crossed because I've been seeing other people haul them. They have the most bestest packaging and that is not even a phrase like most bestest although to little caesars it is but the most bestest packaging ever that's gypsy fabulous right there and that even looks like a gypsy sugar skull if you ask me so i was glad to find just one but i'm definitely on the hunt for more of those bad boys and i'm definitely going to start wearing lashes more because why not it's fabulous fabulous and then I grabbed this. This is just from Greenbrier. It's just dental floss, charcoal infused. And I just love that little container to tell you the truth. So dental floss, charcoal infused. And then I grabbed one of these. I love these. Like when these first came out, I got every single one of them and they smell so good. And this one is the um, Comparative Fantasy by Britney Spears. And I'm just going to do, I know I shouldn't, I'm just going to do a little tiny. I did. Rub them together. Oh, this is the best one. Oh, it smells so good. I love this one right here. So it's a, the cutest bottle. It's from the EAD collection, I guess. And it's called, I gotta see, I'm sure they have a cute name for it. say L E G E R D E <coughs> To tell you the truth, I can't tell what that what that word says right here. I cannot tell. I mean, I have no idea what that says. And I don't think that focused either, so you probably have no idea either. But let me just say it's fabulous. It smells so close to that. Oh, I love it. I love 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 it. So grabbed it and then <laughs> I like to have little things at the house to give Jack just when she's been good for the day or after a couple days and she's getting kind of bored right now she had ten dollars that she got where she didn't get to spend her money for uh, when we went thrifting they took her to Walmart and she got this baby a little baby doll came with a little bathtub and the bath toys and stuff like that 
My gosh, she has probably given that baby a bath at least 30 times a day. Like, she's always in there scrubbing that baby up. I'm going to need to get some more bubble bath because that baby gets a bubble bath every time. She just gets in there in the bathtub, and the little basin is only about this big, and she just fills it up with bubble bath and puts that baby in there, and she's got a little washcloth she uses baby wash on, and it's, it's the cutest thing. It really is. And it has been keeping her so occupied. I mean... You would not believe it. So anyway, I just saw, speaking of her, I just saw this and I thought it was cute. It says, um, squeezy slime egg laying chicken. Yeah, so look at this picture right here. A slimy egg laying chicken. And here's the, I guess it's inside of one of those little balls that you squeeze and open up. And then you got the chicken, you're gonna squeeze it and it's gonna lay an egg. Oh my gosh. That's gonna. That's entertaining to me right now. I mean, I want to break this out right now. Lay an egg. I just want to. If I wasn't in my car, I might would. I might would. And then look at these bad boys. This is a good deal. This looks so much like the Lysol, the canned Lysol. I'm like, what? They're smaller, of course. These are only. Um, I don't know. Let me grab these. There wasn't, I mean, it didn't say a limit. There's no signs like that, but I just grabbed two because like I said, I don't want to get called out at the front of the classroom, okay? <laughs> when I'm checking out, I don't want called out. Six ounce, six, only six, it feels heavier. I don't know. But this one is in the country scent. This one is in linen scent. And it's sort of like the other containers that they have, which I've already took them in with the smaller lid. So it's sort of like, it's probably made by the same place, but just a different packaging maybe, because I believe those were the two cents. So anyway, I like these better. So I was glad to find those. And if I find more this weekend, I'm going to pick up a couple more because that right there is a good deal because Lysol is so flipping expensive, like name brand. I just can't do it. <clears throat> okay, so they had a couple of adorable notebooks. This one says, Be Mermazing, and this one says, Hip Hip Hooray. There's what they look like. They had four. They had a cactus, and they had a llama-themed one, but I didn't need those. Cactus and llamas are not my favorite items. Um, mermaids are much better. Unicorns are good, you know, so I just thought I'd grab this. You get the small notepad. I don't know if it's a sticky one. Let's see. Let's just check it out. It's not going to hurt anything. That way, if you're curious, you'll know. I'm, just, I'm curious, like, because I want to know if I can take it into work or whatever. The big one is adorable. Now, they are not refrigerator magnets, okay? So, this is just kind of stuck on the... Well, I'm going to take it all out. This one's just kind of stuck on here, so I'm gonna, that first page might have to go. I don't know. Okay, so it's stuck on there like that, and then you have this, which, oh, they open like this, but they are not sticky pads. They're just regular little notepads, and they tear off at the bottom. So there's what that looks like. So I'm gonna stick that bad boy back on there. No one will even know. They won't even know. Of course, I'm probably going to put it down upside down or something crazy. <laughs> Backwards. Okay, so there we go. There's those. And one last thing in this bag. These are extremely smooth gel, extreme smooth gel pens. I love to get these every year because... I love doing the adult coloring, and I love using gel pens when I can. These are the perfect fall tree, fall leaf colors, guys. I should have grabbed two of these. You don't see these all the time. It's just like the green is a different color, that brown, the gold, and the like burnt orange color. These are so perfect for fall time pictures that I absolutely love them. So I grabbed them because I hadn't seen them in a while. Okay, there's that bag, guys. I'm not going to put everything up because I want to take pictures. And the, I got, I got two more bags. This is going to be a big Dollar Tree haul. Big haul. Big haul. We like big hauls, though, don't we? 
All right. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of the way. This, I absolutely love these. I mean, like, I usually have at least one pack of these a day, which I got to do something because I can't just, I can't, I can't. But, yeah, as of right now, I'm loving these. So, and if you eat too many, your mouth won't let you eat anymore because kettle cook stuff is so hard, like the inside of your mouth will get sore. So you gotta pace yourself, you do. These are the Metro Deli and the Jalapeno and Cheddar. Is it Cheddar? Yeah, Jalapeno Cheddar. You get three bags. I think I got another bag somewhere. They're not in here. And then, this is poster tack, guys. Now, I got this because I think this is the stuff because I was feeling it. Someone said that this would be the best thing to put my glow-in-the-dark stars on my textured ceiling. So let me know, guys, if this is the stuff. And if it is, I'm going to get my son to hook me up later and get all my stars on the ceiling. Because I want to lay in bed at night and turn out the lights and see stars up there glowing and just pretend that I'm... Cal going to take me away out in the wilderness under a full under a moon and stars and just relaxing and you know you know sometimes you just want to get away from it all and I just want to do that so anyway let me know if that's the right stuff guys adhesive non-toxic so I'm thinking that's it okay next <coughs> excuse me um, I grabbed these for my husband. I know it's about time for him to have some more. Um, it's the Barbasol Two Blade. What's it called? Two Blades. Classic Two. These are his favorite razors. He goes through razors pretty fast. So I went ahead and grabbed them because I don't want him to run out. Okay, I grabbed these because I saw either somebody mentioned it. My daughter might have mentioned it or somebody mentioned it on a comment that these might be a good thing to use with our Halloween wreaths or just Halloween decor in general. So I got a gray one and a black one. It's the creepy cloth. And if you can see that picture right there, it looks pretty fantastic. Like I just think that even like back there where I film in my bedroom where I have that glittery cloth stuff. This would look so cool up there with it, like for the Halloween season. I don't know. I'm just loving the looks of that right there. I love that. So, yeah, there's that. I just had to grab it. And then I grabbed these because I'm get, doing the three girls Halloween bags because probably trick-or-treating is not going to happen. So, I just thought these were super duper cute. So, each one of them can have two and... Yeah, everybody's going to be bummed that they're not getting one, but I'm just doing one for the girls, and that's it. And then this, Crafter's Square, this is glue and residue eraser. Okay, guys, I'm about to give you another memory, okay? If you're around my age, that is. Um, I remember going into school, not this, but going into school on the first day of school, and the teacher would have, like, a brand new eraser that sort of looked like this. And a new pencil, maybe a new notebook and stuff laid out on everybody's desk. And I remember the smell of that eraser. And I'm thinking, I wonder if this smells like that. Now, that's not why I got it. At least partially. I'm going to smell this thing. But I will never forget the smell of that eraser. And that, that was like one of my favorite things from the first day of school. Let me know if you remember, guys. Because that's a good memory to me. And if this smells like that, I will probably just plumb freak out. It doesn't. What a disappointment. But it was like the same color as the... I'm opening. I'm just, I'm just ripping it open for no apparent reason. Like, yeah, this doesn't smell anything like an eraser. Um, so, glue and residue eraser, though. I mean, that could, got, has got to come in handy for some stuff. But, yeah. Let me know. Just let me know if y'all remember that. Those erasers, it was like maybe this size wait like maybe this size and square rectangle the good old days guys always reminiscing okay i grabbed this for jack i'll probably just give this to her today super sour double drops and the flavor green apple and watermelon i just love to torture people with sour stuff so like i think that's fun it's just fun stuff and then 
here is the most adorable thing ever. So they have the cutest little Halloween notebooks. Yes, they do. Oh my gosh. I just can't quit. Look at this. Happy Halloween. This is, do you remember the, when these kind of notebooks first came out, some little tiny but fierce or small but fierce or little but fierce, all different kinds of phrases. Oh my gosh, I remember that. That was last year, probably early last year at some point, and they were all the rage, and I've got my share of those, and now, oh my gosh, let's check this out and see if it's lined or unlined. It probably says, but I just really want to take it out and just see myself. Oh yeah, this is the exact same kind. Look how beautiful that is. You got the sugar skull, be scary, boo, trick or treat, or wait, be scary skull, trick or trick or treat. Yes. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, isn't it great? And the pages are lined. I mean, these are going to work with me at least one. Um, I actually got two of one. I got two. I got two. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to take that off. Um, this one here I got two of. I'll put a spell on you. It has a witch's hat. I love it. I love, love, love it. Right now I'm watching this, the um, Charmed. So I know it's old school, but I never really watched it. I've seen bits and pieces of it, but starting from the very beginning and I'm loving it, loving it. And, and let me just say, guys, if you have not watched The Invisible Man, wow, we rented that last night. It's phenomenal. It's wonderful all the way to the bitter end. It's wonderful, guys. So if you've been putting it off and wondering if you should watch it, wondering if it's any good, I got two thumbs up for you. It's wonderful. I loved it. We loved it. Me and my husband and son watched it, and it was the bomb.com. Remember, watch it. And then the last little notebook. Too cute, too, wait. Too cute, too spooky. Too cute, cute, too spooky, but the second two spelled wrong. I don't know what that's all about, but that tree is so cute, and that spider had to. Had to. Okay, so let me go ahead and dig into this. First of all, I think they might have had these last year. I'm not 100% sure, but I got one for me and one for Jack to drink out of. Look at this. Look at that. I know she'll want this one. I actually got one like this at Walmart last year. It looks almost the same, except it, um, it was glass. I still have it up in my cabinet, which I probably should get rid of it because... You know that oil slick smell sometimes? Let me smell in this sucker. I probably should have smelled. I don't know. I feel like... I can't really tell if it smells like that or not. Look at the straw for one thing. Black and white. That's adorable. The whole thing is just adorable. I can't tell. But obviously I'm going to wash it first. And we'll have to see. But this is great. Look at that. Oh my gosh. And I love the like ombre look of that one. Look at that black and white straw. It's fantastic. So I, that's the first thing I saw when I walked in. I'm like, give me that. And then, <coughs> excuse me, my favorite find of the day. Okay. I found these bad boys. Now, these labels are not sticking on very good, so I'm going to have to do something about that. But these little um, apothecary jars or bottles, that is like the best thing. I love apothecary bottles. They are just the best. So, this says Zombie Brew 1902. These are beautiful. They are the color. Ah, the colors. Okay. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. This says wool of bat, and it says magic, and it says rehydrate bat's wool and warm in warm milk. Look at that picture on the front. Oh my gosh, that color. That's the most cool color of blue. It's not really, there we go, picking it up a little bit over there. Okay. <coughs> These were the only ones left in the store. When I walked in, these three were sitting there, and I'm like, get in my buggy fast. 
So I got them. I put them in my buggy. This one says Witch's Brew Potion something. Potion number four. I can't, I can't read it. But look at that beautiful pink. Oh my gosh. And these were the only three there. So I'm thinking, okay, that must be all they have. So I'm back there in the automotive section and glance down and there's one of these sitting there. I'm like, what? Get in my buggy. This one has the label is, is the worst on this one. I'm going to have to, uh, what would be the best thing guys to help me with that label? See on the bottom, it's trying to peel up. Um, so I really want to fix that. It says unfiltered poison. That's great. Um, but I definitely want to save that label. You can even see where it has a little mark through it, where it's been trying to peel up. And that's probably why someone put it back. But this was the only ones in the store. And I'm like, what if I never find any more? So I had to grab it. So if you know what, would, what whatever you think, guys, would be the best for that, let me know. Because I just need to know. i got to fix that. Because those are fabulous. She didn't wrap them up when she put them in the bag. And she picked up the bag. And they're like, clang, clang, clang. I'm like, oh my gosh, give me that. Um, okay, and then I got these. Now, I know I'm going to have fallout. But I also know that hairspray will take care of that. I just thought these are gorgeous. These are so beautiful. The color of purple on here is awesome. And they're so sparkly. So this one says, beware, beware of ghosts. <coughs> Look at that. That is gorgeous, guys. Beautiful. That is so sparkly. Now, you know that's the kind of sparkly that'll come off quickly. So, I need to spray these with hairspray as soon as I get them home. But, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And then this one. Oh, if you like owls, look. Oh my gosh. So, it says trick or treat with an owl and some pumpkins. And then which way to the treats? Oh my gosh. The moon. Oh, I'm just so overwhelmed with these. They're so pretty. And I got this one last year, but um, where our roof was leaking over the springtime, I'm afraid that my stuff that I had up there stored may not be any good, and I didn't want to miss out, so I went ahead and got it. It says, join our Black Hats Society. I had to get it because look at the moon, the witch. I just absolutely love it. I just love everything about that picture right there. I just think it's so cool. So, so cool. And that's it, guys. That is my haul. And wasn't it fantabulous? All of this Halloween stuff just got me. I mean, I love it so much. So, yeah. I'll be back tomorrow with the haul. I have three bags in the back. I can't remember what's back there, but hopefully it'll be just as good as this haul. I don't know. I mean, this was a good haul, I think. Personally. Personally. Okay. Anyway. I just want to say a couple things. Tomorrow, I'm planning on... At the end of my video, well, I'm planning on releasing either, maybe Thursday, I'm planning on releasing, maybe Thursday would be best, I'm planning on releasing my first item of merch, a t-shirt, it's going to be a t-shirt, and I want to be wearing it on my video so you guys can see it, and that way you can decide if you want to order it or not. So, I have, um, I have two shirts that I've created and I have in my possession and one of them I'm trying to wait until I don't know man it's already oh, yeah I don't know I don't know which one I want to do yet but I, lo I like both of them so we'll see I'll have to see which one I decide to do but I'm planning on doing that Thursday so keep your eyes open for that and then um, if you haven't watched my 7k giveaway video and entered go find that go check it out and then, I'm so sorry, it just dawned on me that I have not done the, I'm the worst, I'm the absolute worst, the Shein giveaway that I have, the, yeah, <coughs> the earrings. It's not a secret giveaway. It was the earrings. If you've entered, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my very best to get that done today, pick the winner so I can get them shipped out, and the two books that I did the giveaway for, the 365 activity books, one winner has came forward. The other winner has commented on my 7K giveaway, but they still haven't came forward for the other one. So I, I even left a message for them 
to that they won one of my giveaway and I still have not heard from them. So just want to say if you're watching this, guys. Check and see if you're a winner, okay? Check and see. So anyway, um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please give me a thumbs up. Just go ahead and hit that thumbs up right now. Leave me a comment. I want to hear what you have to say, guys. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!